My dad exposed me to the game. I'm one of seven kids, um, grew up in Canada, and my brothers played and my dad played, and I had played a lot of sports growing up, so that kind of started me in my journey um, to playing golf. My dad and granddad played golf. Um, when I was eight, they took me out. It was always being around the boys, so it's like it's, it's really no big deal to be in a business that's predominantly male. For a long time, I wanted to play professional golf. Yeah, and then I realized I went to UNC Wilmington, played there, and I'm like, ah, oh, maybe I don't want to play professional golf. From there, I knew I'd be in the golf business. I didn't know where I would be or where I would end up. Um, but that's kind of how the, the journey took me to being in the, the business. So I'm a third generation PGA pro. I started by being in the golf business by being at my dad's pro shop every day. I didn't really start playing until I was 12. And then from 12 to 18, I was on a fast track, um, getting lessons all the time from both my dad and grandfather and then played at the College of Charleston, and then played five years professionally afterwards, uh, and then got into the golf business. I realized that I found more pleasure in helping others sort of achieve their goals and seeing them succeed, and so much more fulfillment than when I was playing. Jay Gallo got me into the, the business, and, and I, I found my passion through playing, but more than playing, teaching. So it started with picking up golf balls, <clears throat> then it was working in the carts, then it was handling clubs, and by the time I was 16, I was working in the pro shop. And it was such a neat experience to be able to learn it from the ground up. And I, I realized I fell in love with the golf industry. And then I got to teach classes with him. And I knew I was hooked. So that's how I ended up here. My dad put a golf club in my hands that the golf professional at the club I grew up at cut all the way down. And I would follow my, parent, my dad and my three older brothers, I would follow them around the golf course. And then I just, I started in tournaments when I was eight and I just never did anything else. Got in the PGA, did the LPGA stuff as well, and then just really found my niche teaching and I really love doing women's stuff, junior stuff, men's tournaments, anything you can think of, I really like being involved. Teaching the kids is what's so much fun. And a really cool thing about here is we have a lot of girls that play. But to get them to continue, it's nice to have a, a female here that they can kind of be like, oh, well, she did it, so hey, I can do it too. So that's sort of where we are with the girls part of the program. But teaching the kids is so much fun for us just because we get, get out, you get to play. Like, we're going to be playing tug of war. Ryan will probably beat me and the girls team as he usually does. We have play, we play dodgeball, you play games, water balloons, all kinds of some, you know, silly stuff just to make it fun for the kids and make it so that they want to come back and be like, oh, golf's the best, golf's the best. You know, it's so rewarding. I feel like sometimes I get more excited than they do. Um, and you know, when people ask me, what do I prefer teaching? I really love those beginners because seeing their, their face light up when they get the ball in the air or you know, the first time somebody breaks 50 and seeing them, them happy and seeing them enjoy the game more is, is really rewarding. We have a wonderful ladies program here at St. James Plantation. We do have a beginner golf group, which uh, a lot of the ladies have gone through my GROW program and uh, they have a chance in that GROW program to meet other ladies that they get to know and then they kind of move together up into the uh, wherever it is that they fit or they feel they fit. It's cool to see Paige become president and know that that road is paved for me to follow one day. And it's cool to see Sarah be a mom and Rock being in the golf industry all at once and still make it happen. And it's cool to see, you know, Eve and it, you know, just it's just awesome to see all these different women do 500 different things all at once and still make it all happen. Over the years, I've been mentored by uh, Tom Wilcox, who is out in Arizona now, and uh, Barry Walters here at St. James Plantation. Uh, he's been wonderful to work with and has really helped inspire me do different programs with golf instruction. I credit Peter Costas and also Paul Trittler, who's another top 100 instructor. I credit them with the teacher that I am today and I credit them with, with the ability for me to move to, to Charleston and be a director of instruction. He was, I met him in probably the mid to, to late 90s, Dr. Eric Wilson. He was one of the original PGA members to really get the golf portion of Special Olympics started. He's been there since the beginning, he wrote the manuals. So to have him as a, a mentor in this business, in just the golf, but with uh, Special Olympics, which is probably just as much my passion as it is, is PGA, being a PGA golf member because it just gives me such perspective on just keeping it simple and just enjoying, enjoying your everyday 
you know, things in life, um, the simple things. We all need mentors that can help us along the way and pick us up when we, we need that to keep going along. The best advice I would give is something that my dad told me when I was younger, which was someone always has to be the best. So I would say always reach and strive to do the absolute best you can because there's always someone who has to be in that position. I would tell girls that there's a lot of opportunities out there and to be confident and go for it. One day at a time. There's so much to learn with golf. Each day I come out, even I learn something. Uh, you know, a lot of times we get, we get stuck in ourselves and uh, just think our little world is it. But the more that you can go out and interact with different people or different tournaments or different volunteer opportunities, I would do it. I've always looked at that as an opportunity to meet other professionals and learn something from them. I think that it's our roles as professionals to find unique and uh, ways to get golfers to play and it's thinking out of the box and um, helping to bring up the young men and women coming into their professions and saying you know and helping to direct them I think that's just as important there are tough days and yet there are many many more days that are fulfilling to make this be a great career path to choose we're the largest section we want to be the, the best section and if you love golf that much, you can play a lot of competitive golf as a PGA member. In this business, there's just so many different avenues. And if you're working hard, just be who you are, the, the opportunities are really endless. So I would say it's a great time to get in this business.